And finally, new rule, now that we've had Mother's Day and Father's Day, let's set aside this Sunday to celebrate people who are neither with a new holiday called I Didn't Reproduce Day. And let me be clear, I am not saying there's anything wrong with having a small number of children. <laughs> After all, children are the leaders of tomorrow. Sometimes they're even the leaders of today. <laughs> I'm just saying, where's the holiday for single people? We don't have a day, only happy hour. <laughs> But we've spent a lifetime being the cool aunts and uncles, but while we celebrate everybody else, nobody ever celebrates us, and they really should, because you know what Mother Nature loves even more than electric cars? Condoms. <laughs> There's literally nothing you can do that's better for the environment than to not produce another resource-sucking, waste-making human being, probably with a bad attitude. <laughs> I didn't bring a kid into the world to consume valuable resources. Where's my breakfast in bed? Where's my coupon good for one foot rub? Where's my greeting card that says, roses are red, violets are blue, you help the earth by keeping a lid on your goo. <laughs> So, you know, you, you can do it all. You can get the hybrid car, do the recycling, not throwing batteries in the trash. It all adds up to a fraction of the good it would do to have just one less child, because that child increases your carbon legacy by over 9,000 tons. And remember, every time a single person does something to prevent pregnancy, they're creating more slots on college campuses for your kid. <laughs> Hallmark needs a card that says, it's not that you're gay, it's not that you're lesbian, but because you didn't have kids, mine got into Wesleyan. <laughs> so, you know, having kids or not having kids, th th there's not a moral dimension to it. That's what I'm saying. It's just your taste. I don't have kids for the same reason you do, because that's what each of us wants. I get it. Lots of people love kids. Although, I must say, no one in the world ever looks happier than when Maury Povich says, you are not the father. <laughs> 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 You know, everyone is so used to married with children being the norm that nobody noticed that single people are actually the majority now. In August 2014, the unmarried for the first time surpassed the married in sheer numbers. And yet, you know, we still remain a somewhat suspect group, somehow incomplete. Whenever we're at a party, People always feel free to tell us how good it would be to get married and have a kid. But somehow it's rude if I say, and you know what? You guys should totally get divorced. <laughs> when you're childless, people love to tell you, you have to have a baby. But you don't have to. You have to have car insurance. <laughs> Remaining single isn't for everyone, but it's a perfectly rational decision. The science is in. Singles exercise more than married people do. Yeah, single women have better overall health, and men, less heart disease. Singles actually have stronger social ties, less debt, and are more likely to volunteer for civic organizations. Now, of course, a lot of this is to get laid. <laughs> But not all of it, so stop asking a woman why she isn't married or why she doesn't have children. She doesn't owe you an explanation. You owe her 9,000 tons of carbon. <laughs> and stop describing not being married as shocking. 
or surprising. Fuck, Jennifer Aniston had to tell People Magazine that she's been shamed as a sad, childless human. Yes, like she's the pathetic freak, as opposed to these pillars of the community. <laughs> The Duggars with their litter of 19 children. You know, call me anti-family, but I say you're overdoing it when your wife has to say, not tonight, honey, I'm giving birth. Uh -huh.